Hey guys and girls, welcome back to the walkthrough. We're now on part 9 and we're starting the dungeons in all its gloomy glory. It's going to be a great couple of parts, this is. It's, you know, a bit of a freaky sort of area and, you know, dark and mysterious and green because of Slytherins, but, you know, it's also full of lols. Here's Fred and George to start us off. Heading for potions class, Harry. Don't be late. Snape's a royal pain. He's always looking for an excuse to take house points away from Gryffindor. We need green every flavour beans for our next experiment. You know, the troll bogey ones. Bring us the beans, and we'll give you the password for the portrait. Oh, of course. Everyone's favourite flavour. I've got to love troll bogey. And um, as you can see right there, it's the portrait itself. Oh my. You're not going to cast a curse on me, are you? Oh, it's normally so nice and deathly quiet here, but all manner of strange things are afoot. I can show you a place to hide if you tell me the password. Off you go then, and be very careful. It'd be so unsuspecting if I actually did cast a curse. It's like, surprise! But no, it's like, the words nice and deathly quiet really do not go together well. Back so soon? Have you got the password yet? No? Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Who could she possibly be then, I wonder? I don't know. Some sort of famous witch from ye old olden days. <laughs> anyway, so we first got to do potions class, uh, which is of course absolutely loads and loads of fun. So, up we go. At last, Harry! I have an idea with a stolen object from Gringotts maybe. But we'll have to attend potions class first. Come on, Harry. We don't want to keep Snape waiting. Is she stoned or something? She's like waving her arms like, oh, at last, Harry, you're here to take my potion. Anyway, the first and only potions class of the game, which is very simple and it'll take like literally a matter of seconds. Looks fun. Now pay attention, Potter. To mix a Wiganweld potion, first activate the cauldron. Yeah, press the on switch. <laughs> then you have to press the three symbols indicated until the cauldron fills. If you manage to fill your cauldron, which I doubt, you'll be able to activate the cauldron to retrieve the potion. Your turn, Potter. <laughs> the pressure here. Oh, it's unforgiving, isn't it? But it's like a slot machine almost. You're choosing the three random combos. And there's some amazing things here, but I always forget to actually read them. I just do it quick as I can. So, one pint of pork club juice. Two drops from my mucus. So I'm not, not going to do this. You can pause it if you want. There we go. Took no time at all. Very straightforward. I could do that in my sleep. Good enough. Only a fool would expect better. Potter, I've never seen such pathetic work. Go fetch the jar of fireflies from the adjoining room. To be honest, coming from Snake, that's probably a compliment. <laughs> okay, so this is the most craziest dark room you've ever seen in your life. House is like, oh, I'm going to admire this lovely place. And then, oh my god, it's a guy in the dark hood. Never trust a guy in a dark hood. Oh my god, he's a ninja! The green bull of thunder, holy cow! Oh, there he's good, Harry Potter. Oh, <laughs> he did what Voldemort took seven books to try to do, but no, Harry's gone. Yeah, this is, this is a very weird section of the game where no teacher comes running to Harry's help. Harry just gets trapped in the the the, the bottommost area of the dungeons, I think. Best way to describe it. Although this is weird here because you know it was very dark up top, and suddenly. He's surrounded by light everywhere, and little baby trolls. Oh, which are sort of cute in a way, but then they're not, because they're trolls. And they aren't, aren't really anything on them, so that's a bit naughty. Should make this game of 11 plus at least. Whoa. Okay, so quick, just what is it then? There we go. Ah, oh, I missed that one. Let's do it. Basically, we're going to do here is we're going to take on the two trolls, wait for them to um, come around and stand on the grate, and for some reason they stop there, they just admire their surroundings, and then you kill them. Poor innocent trolls. Although, to be honest with you, it's a, it's a bit weird that um, Hogwarts has baby trolls living in its dungeons. Ah, oh, flowers everywhere. It's lovely, isn't it? And the doors are unlocked. To the bottom of the well as well! Oh, that's significant, isn't it? Oh yeah, by the way, sometimes I usually miss myself, but they're up there, I can't do it, can I? There you go. There's a frog! Most random applications. I often miss that, but um, I don't need it now, so sorry, frog. It's the bottom of the well. Harry! It's me, Raymond! Can you see my kitten? 
I hear her down there meowing. Oh, I'm sure we'll find her, Raymond. Don't worry. You stay. You stay safe up there. Safe, Frosty. Yeah, considering it's the bottom of the well, very distinct lack of water. You know, you just associate well with water, but no. This is the most gloomiest of places, and even more gloomy music. Basically, the cat has some somehow got itself trapped in one of these boxes. Uh, which means you have to go around and destroy them all. Most of which contain nothing. Let's cover them and take the same beans. Oh my god, it's a cat! How was she just in this one? No way, she's always, in the, she's always usually in the last one. Like, um, well, usually in the last. The words are always in YouTube, they don't go too well together either. But yeah, she's usually in the last one. I just have to go and find her. There's, there'll be a rat somewhere as well. There's a rat. Kitten, go, take, go, go kill the rat. Kitten, I choose you. And considering she's a kitten as well. Yeah, usually it's just what's here. She's in. Oh, this is beans, that's quite nice. But look at her, she's tiny. She's actually about the size of Harry's ankle. A kitten can't possibly be that size. Well, actually, one of my friends at uni, he's got an, um, a kitten for his student house, and it is the cutest thing you've ever seen in your life. The photo, it's, that, it's got one of those brilliant photos where it's looking awkwardly with his head tilted at you, and it is like the... I'm, I'm quite, you know, I'm a man, but I can admit that, that is the cutest thing I've ever seen. And, Come on, kitty. There we go. Sometimes you can get stuck behind the wall, so be careful. Keep an eye on your kitten. Harry takes his pussy everywhere. Oh, that's a bit weird. Okay. Yeah. So my friend's cat there is quite cute until it shits everywhere on the, on the lounge. <laughs> so yeah, keep leading it back to the um to the grid. Where poor Raymond, that well known character Raymond, who we never see again, is waiting going, Harry, please save my cool kitty. And the cat should be coming stuck again. Getting stuck once is okay, but getting stuck twice is just a palaver. There she is, blimmin' hell. I assume it's a, a she, could be a he. Lovely little thing. But yeah, seriously, seriously, the tiniest cat of all time. You could put that in a pie. We probably shouldn't. Have horse instead. Wingardium Leviosa. Not that goes. Here you go. And up you go to Raymond. Thanks, Harry. Here's a famous witches and wizards card for you. A card that's probably twice the size of the cat. But yeah, this is the first card that I got when I first played the game. And I was like, yeah, I got my first card, finally. Although now, I've got about nine at least? No. Edgar Struger. Mm, eight, I think now. Anyway, Edgar Struger, who I believe is the inventor of the Sneakoscope. Groovy, baby, eh? Let's have a look then. Come on, show us what you got. Edgar Struger, 1703. To 1798, inventor of the Sneakoscope. Simple, and yet beautiful. Love it. Yeah. So I'm sorry, by the way, that I never actually did any videos last week because I was I literally I, I I tried to on Monday, and then I um I realised I have such a busy week, even busier than my normal weeks, because Tuesday to Thursday, my parents came up to visit and see Liverpool North Glory, and then on Friday to Sunday, my friends from home came up also to see Liverpool North Glory. So because of that, I don't have any time to record any videos. It was a great experience. Me and my parents went around to local galleries. We saw um, all sorts. I'll, I'll put it all in a vlog at some point, rather than in this commentary. Um, but yeah. And then my friends came up as well, and we had good, super, super happy fun times playing games. Um, I played some Skyrim. It was awesome. Um, but, you know, they're gone now. And I can now continue with games. Which makes me happy. Um, I'm very much happy to. So here you go, floating cauldrons on the pool of death. Casual game stuff, you know. This was like, you know, the lead scene from the first movie, of course. <laughs> it's like, Harry, to conquer the next test, you must jump across the pool of death. Literally, you just, if, if, if you fall in, you just you sink like that. Yeah. So don't do that. It's probably a better idea to do, um, to flip over cauldron and make it stop. Like that. Just jump onto it quite easily. Um, that's too far away. Come back towards us. Get, get, you, get, you get cool cloth music as well in the background. Just play groovy, and then that's one. Oh, we did it a long time. Too early. There we go. Jump. Do that one. Jump. That was close. There we go. Easy. 
piece of lemon squeezy. But yeah, why do we have a pool of sludge in the dungeons? First lava in the ground, now sludge in the dungeons. Hogwarts has every sort of environment imaginable. Oh, it's like the world all in one place. Even with trolls from Norway. Apparently. I don't know. Anyway, so now we've got to go into the snoozing troll's bedroom. Which defies every bit of common sense, but we're still going to do it anyway. <laughs> you know, you go in there, you're just like, hey, we've got to sneak around the troll. It's like, it's like Jack and the Beanstalk for the modern day. For the modern gamer. So there it is, one of the most uncomfortable of beds. And how enough has got the bed, I have no idea. Seeing, seeing as, you know, Hogwarts shouldn't really have trolls. Maybe it's given it its own room. That's, that, that, that's, that's crazy. Stop off at Hogwarts Troll Tavern. Guaranteed to give you a nice warm bed and a load of straw. And some random cage for your key. Okay. So use the lever. And basically we've now created a huge path for us to follow through the room. And we can now get to the door. But of course to open the door we need a key. Which conveniently is placed under a cage. Now the only way to get said key without waking up the troll is to levitate the cage slowly and surely onto the straw. I'll show you, sir. If I show you now, how we whispering carefully like, I'll be quiet, I'll be quiet, I'll be quiet. Don't wake up. And then, just for lols, I'm going to do this. <laughs> now the thing is, a troll cannot get you if you stand out in here. He will just wander around and be angry. I'm guessing it's a he, it might be a she because all the little babies. But uh, let's just do this. Go get close as I can. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, this is so badass, isn't it? Take it higher and higher. Run! Off it comes. Oh, look at it go. Yeah, so basically, as soon as you leave the room, its, tr it's club goes down, it just wanders around aimlessly. It scared me at first, and I was like, I, I, I ran away straight away, but yeah. Oh, we're not going too close. That's that as close. Isn't that big, actually, compared to the troll we face later on? Let's do an evil one. Patrols up and down until eventually you leave, and then it goes to bed. It's like, yeah, that's enough for one day. I'll give myself some more eternal sleep. So yeah, there we go. This is pretty much most of the Firefly stuff for now. Just one more little thing to do, and then we're done. Romeo done. And a flashing lock as well, it's always nice. Okay, to the Firefly room. But it's, actually, no, we've got this little bit here, even more trolls. Which are baby trolls, and that's about Harry's height. Come on, I don't have time. Get the beat in a minute. Should come onto here in a second. Oh, come on. Hide round here in the corner. Oh, you bugger. Go onto the thing already. Here we go. That's more like it. If you get the right time, you can sort of do some sort of crazy jump where as the troll goes down the, the drain flips up and you jump onto the drain and it, it goes all crazy but yeah I didn't because I'm sensible now I used to be an immature gamer but now I do sensible things like booms of blue fire <laughs> here we go the biggest jar of fireflies you'd ever imagine is in Hogwarts and it's ours for the taking it would have been a lot simpler to go for this more, more direct route but no we had to go and take the long way round but we did it, because we're that awesome. I wasn't expecting you back so soon. <gasps> Give me those fireflies. A little please would do a trick. Now leave me in peace, Potter. Your defense against the dark arts class with Professor Quiddle is about to start, and you're already late. I love just how dramatic the music was. It was. All it was was him taking a glass jar of fireflies. It was just like, honestly, really? And he's like, I was expecting you back so soon. Like, subtle Snape. Very subtle. Can't possibly imagine what that would mean. I've got to show you down here, actually. Um, actually, no. I'll leave it for the next part. In the next part, we shall do defense against the dark arts. See you then.